It is October 18, 2018. I just read a comment from a subscriber. School children are being vaccinated in schools without parental consent. The parents don't even know that it's happening. And sometimes on those consent forms, the parents will mark the box. I do not want my child vaccinated and they are still being vaccinated. All right, so let's let's listen to what happened in Louisiana. Oh, oh my God. Woo, assalamu alaikum y'all, this is Brother Reza Islam. Okay, so if we have in the Jefferson Parish School District in Louisiana, right? They had what is called vaccination day this week in Jefferson Parish School District where a truck pulled up and was giving children vaccinations. You might be thinking, well, did the parents give them permission to do this, or did they have to sign a form of some sort? Actually, they didn't, and the children were told to receive the vaccinations and didn't have to ask their parents, and if they didn't take the vaccinations, they were kicked out of school. See, this is what we're talking about, okay? 80% of that school area is poor black children, 80%. Also this week, a sister by the name of Portia Rashid over in the Claremont School District was rolled up on by a police officer and an individual claiming to be a part of the U.S. government asking her about her child's immunization status and threatened to put her in jail if she did not give up this information. The Tuskegee experiment all over again. Get your children out of these schools. This is why I'm pushing for the homeschooling method. Get them. Oh, well, um, it, oh. it ain't Tuskegee all over again because we're all in Tuskegee, the experiment that is being, well, it's not an experiment. It is a depopulation program. November, 2017, Louisiana. What's happening in Florida? Rosa School District has now suspended its student flu vaccination program. So parents say their children were given shots without their consent. Channel 3's Renee Beninati is live in the studio with the school board meeting tonight. Renee? Bob, a few parents attended tonight's school board meeting. They're demanding more to be done. My rights as a father was violated. Trey Burgess says last week his son got a flu shot at Jay Elementary School. Neither he nor his wife gave their consent. His wife wrote no flu shot on the paperwork. Everybody's sweeping it underneath the rug. What y'all going to do about it? Y'all gonna wait till somebody dies? Other parents voiced similar concerns. The school district then suspended the vaccination program Wednesday. It was sponsored by the health department in partnership with Healthy Schools. Some parents who signed the forms also wrote notes on the form indicating they did not want their child vaccinated. But Healthy Schools says if the parents signed the consent form, workers took that as consent. No! No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Oh my God, I hope parents, I hope parents sue, sue this school, sue the district. It doesn't work that way. Okay, you are sending a consent form to a parent and you are giving them the option of, uh, you're going, you give them the option, where is that? Okay, well, you saw the option, right? Yes, I want to help protect my family and community. Listen to how they phrase these options that you have. I want to help protect my family and community from flu by allowing my child to receive a flu shot. Or no, I do not want my child to receive the flu fighting flu shot vaccine at school because you have to you have to state a reason. You're giving the parents the option on a consent form and then their excuse for vaccinating a child the, when they have that consent form and the parent has said no and they are saying now well they signed the consent form so so what uh, do you get my point all right please we're not this, we're, we're really not this dumb. Please tell me we are not this dumb. And, you know, people better get over this. Well, I have to be nice. And, well, you thought I consented because I sent back the consent form with my signature. But you saw my signature, 
So why didn't you just see which box I checked here? All right. <clears throat> okay. The school says if the parents signed the consent form, workers took that as consent. We have communicated very clearly with the health department and Healthy Schools Inc. by our expectations. And at the present, there is no vaccination. Lacey Cahalan says the same thing happened to her middle school daughter in 2016. And she handed it in. She said, I'm not supposed to get this. They still took the form, clearly marked no, and gave her the vaccine. And she came home that day crying. It was definitely a violation of her rights and it's ours as parents. She says the district told her they'd make sure it never happened again. You just remember. I'm not going to let this go. Now these parents are demanding the district take action to prevent this from happening in the future. You said you was going to fix it. You said this wouldn't happen again. Can you explain to me how it happened again? We will keep you updated with the later latest information wow. on this story. In the studio, Renee Beninati, Channel 3. Oh, my God. Well, how is it that parents... How, you know, you, parents, men, you really have to protect your children now. You've got to protect your children. And don't wait for the consent form to be sent to you. The first day of school, you arrive with your child, you go to the office, and you have a very clear written statement that is signed stating you will not consent to having your child vaccinated and you tell those in that office to put it in your child's file and if your child is then vaccinated you need to sue that school because it's an assault upon your child. Oh my God, I can't believe that we are living this. I cannot believe we are living this. But when I see the numbers of people who don't want to be confrontational and I've got to be nice and uh, well, because I want you to like me uh, and um, don't want you to think that, you know, I'm mean or uh, I'm mentally ill because I'm angry that you assaulted my child. All right. Oh, it's so outrageous. It is so outrageous that this is occurring. My God. Okay. Um, let's just listen to a little bit more of this. Crystal Simmons says she made it clear on the form. I also wrote like in capital letters with stars, do not give my child the flu shot. And I signed my name at the bottom of it. But it still happened. She had a whelp on her arm and she told me that she got the flu shot and she told the lady no that she wasn't supposed to and they gave it to her anyways. A similar situation happened to Charity Covan. I didn't even sign the paper. I didn't sign it. I didn't send it back. It's. I just got it out of my truck, actually. So the fact that he got the vaccine, which I didn't want him to have anyway, um, kind of angers me because he's he's still throwing up as of yesterday. Flu shots can have side effects, but pediatrician Dr. Pamela Michelle Greyer Hall says people should get them. And last year was one of the worst flu seasons we've seen in a very long time. Um, we're hoping that this flu season is not as bad, but we're encouraging. You do know that the CDC greatly exaggerates the numbers of people who get the flu. And this doctor, oh my God. Wow. All right. Listen. All parents for those children six months and up to get their children vaccinated against the flu because it can actually save your child's life. She says consent is mandatory. When we give a consent form, at least here at our office, it's a consent form to the vaccine. Um, and when the parent reads it, they're actually consenting when they sign at the bottom. And I think they're... No, my God. How do people let people like this get away with, with what they are saying? 
Look at that consent form. No, I do not want my child vaccinated. People are actually saying that if they sign the consent form, that's consent. How did they let these people get away with this? What the hell are we doing here? I mean, this woman is a doctor and she doesn't understand consent. She should be, she should have her license taken away. Okay. I, th th this is the kind of idiocy that I just don't even know how to respond to. I don't know what to say. How do you address this? How do you address this? The consent form gives the option, yes or no. You mark no, and then a doctor is going to say that it's consent just because the person signed it. <gasps> oh my God, we're in trouble. We are in big trouble. Santa Rosa County Schools. You know what? These doctors, these school board members, administrators, school nurses. How, how are we letting these people get away with this and not holding them accountable? There might have been just a misunderstanding or mis It's not a misunderstanding. It's very clear. It's very clear. No misunderstanding. And every parent who has had a child vaccinated, when you have sent back that consent form that says no, I hope you're suing these school districts. Some con confusion if there was only a yes box in that line to sign. Is there only a yes box? Wow. Christine Ganelli, the National Nurse Manager for Healthy Schools, says their program provides the nurses and vaccines. Any child whose parent has filled out the form and signed it, given us consent, then we'll vaccinate those students. Healthy Schools said in a previous statement, quote, We were made aware that a small number of students submitted signed consent forms with conflicting consent information. But Ganelli says it's up to the nurse. So a nurse will, will look at these forms and, um, you know, they use their judgment. No, not okay. Not okay. First of all, those forms are very clear. You have a yes or a no. There's no confusion. It's very clear. And the, you're going to just say that now the nurse, well, she might be confused. Well, oh, it looks like that X. I think the parent actually meant to mark that X in the yes box. So it's not clear, but I'm going to vaccinate that child. If the nurse is confused, that nurse should be getting on the phone to call the parent, not just vaccinating that child. This is so unbelievably outrageous that parents, man, you've got to get in, you have got to get proactive. And you have to understand what your schools are doing to your children. First day of school, you demand meetings to find out exactly does your child's school have a vaccine program? When is the vaccine day? And find out everything about what your school is doing because schools today are unlike schools not too long ago and they are corrupting your children and assaulting them with dangerous vaccines and do not ever accept well I was confused well, you signed the consent form, but I marked no. But, oh, I thought you meant you, because you signed it, it was no. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is the World Health Organization putting out an unbelievably uh, wrong, wrong consent information. 
Children between the ages of 6 and 17 years old. This is the World Health Organization talking about consent and assent. Well, consent, the principle wherein individuals must give their permission before receiving a medical intervention or procedure, and they're to know all of what the procedure entails, possible side effects, all the information that is available, the doctors must uh, communicate that information to the patient, and then that patient gets to decide whether or not they are going to do whatever procedure. And they sign a form giving their consent. Assent refers to the process of children's and adolescents' participation in the decision-making on vaccination, really, or other medical interventions. Assent is not regulated in law, like consent, and is sometimes referred to as a moral obligation closely linked to good practice in dealing with patients. Um, so what they're saying about assent is that the child can assent to a vaccination without the parent's consent. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Actually, I'm not kidding. Or you're not kidding me. No, who, who's kidding who? Oh, this is not a joke. Okay. An implied consent process? Implied consent process. Listen to this. By which parents are informed of imminent vaccination through social mobilization and communication. What? Meaning, I guess, now... Schools can say, well, word got out. We were having vaccine, uh, uh, vaccine day. So parents who didn't opt out explicitly consented. Well, let's say you kind of keep to yourself and you're not at the neighborhood community center hearing uh, information being communicated socially. Are you kidding me? Okay, I said that a lot. Um, so, yeah, uh, they may even get a letter directly addressed to the parent. Subsequently, the physical presence of the child or adolescent with or without an accompanying uh, a parent accompanying that child at the vaccination session is considered to imply consent. So if your six-year-old shows up, then that's implied consent to getting vaccinated. Do you think a six-year-old is capable of, uh, you know, reasoning out, mm, well, vaccines, I did some research last night and I found out that there's, you know, some toxins in there, aluminum, uh, flu shot, mercury. That's why they're giving these kids flu shots now, because mercury is in the flu shot. Okay, uh, so that six-year-old the next day shows up at vaccine day and presents herself, and that's consent. So now parents, listen to this. Schools are having vaccine day. Children are being vaccinated. If your child is present, they're claiming that's implied consent. And it is your duty to opt out explicitly. Wow. How do you know that? If, how do you know that there was a vaccine day if it wasn't socially mobilized you know, through your neighborhood? How, you don't know. 
So all children are told, you know, get up and get in a line and march on over. Your child does. How do you explicitly opt out of that? See, this is what needs to change, and parents have to change it. This is so unbelievably outrageous. It's, uh, oh. God. Well, it's happening. Child administered four vaccines without parental consent in Detroit. A mother of a 14-year-old daughter was recently administered no less than four vaccines, including HPV, wow, without her knowledge or consent, and the mother is angry with everybody. Good for you, mother, because that's what, oh, I would get really angry. Um, so she, this mother, specifically signed a document indicating that medical treatment must never be administered to her daughter without her consent. Well, guess what? Vaccination, you can consider that a medical treatment. She's missed several days of school as a result. I should put this in the past tense because this happened in May of this year. It's not just the United States, Canada, BB, uh, BC, family furious, teen vaccinated without parental consent. I do suggest to all parents who have children in school that you bookmark this site in particular, National Vaccine Information Center. Um, unfortunately, they have been censored, experiencing the censorship that's going on. Uh, they have been removed from Pinterest removed from Pinterest. But on this site, there is a tremendous amount of information that all parents need. So please circulate this site to all parents. And U.S. vaccine exemptions remain secure in 2018. So please, parents, you bring a child into this world and it is your sole responsibility to protect that child. Protection entails doing research on every substance that you put into that child. The food they eat, the vaccines, psychiatric medications. You do the research, you find out what the adverse events or the adverse reactions are and you inform yourself because we are not getting informed consent anymore. Okay, I think a lot of you know that I don't like children being harmed. I don't like adults who lie and this th these adults are lying, not this adult. Um, these adults are lying making excuses, and there is no excuse. So please start holding people accountable. And please circulate this information. All links are below.